peace hey but what's going on it's your boy let's talk we back with no video all right man so i'm out here walking get my steps in for this evening i had a pretty busy few days um i took my daughters to a monster festival out king of prussia volley forest casino and it was pretty dope i got a chance to meet some of my favorite icon uh, horror icons that I, I, I valued as a kid, like the original OG Jason Voorhees, Kane Hodder. I met him. Ken Forrest from the original George Romero, Dawn of the Dead. I met him. I met Rob Zombie's Halloween, uh, Michael Myers, Tyler Maine. Met him, John Majors. I posted all the pictures and videos on my Facebook, and my daughter, she uh, made it to the finals in the uh, fright contest, the horror, Halloween costume. Uh, she didn't win. She, she came up second place to a guy who was dressed up as um, Zombie Jason. But uh, I was real proud of it. They're real good. So, um, yeah, that's how my last few days was going. That's why I haven't uploaded any videos. But we back to our regularly scheduled programming. And um, so now that we're back to reality, let's talk about how... Uh, most Americans are now are fed up with not being able to put food on the tables. Uh, a lot of Americans right now are struggling. You know, Americans are uh, are in debt, can't pay their bills, uh, living paycheck to paycheck, and it's hard to buy groceries. Like the groceries that you spent two years ago four years ago it's double triple that now the cost it was for maybe 10 items out the market five years ago <laughs> is way more than what it was uh then as it is now and that's all due to inflation and that's all due to the economy because of the Biden and Harris administration, or I like to say now, the Harris and Biden administration. Because, let's be real, Joe Biden was not one in this country these past going on four years. We see that now due to the incompetence uh, that he displayed um, from the debate with Trump and, um, and so forth. But if he was like that then, you know, already know he was like that two, three years ago. So there was no way that he was running this country. And now you have their administration inviting all these illegal immigrants into the country, giving them everything from housing placements. They're giving them jobs. They're giving them all these government subsidies. They're giving them food stamps. They're giving them uh, cash. They're giving them everything. They're giving them Social Security benefits. And the average everyday American, the pre people who were actually born here in this country, gets nothing. And a lot of us who are descendants from people who built this country, we're struggling. A lot of us are struggling. A lot of you, you out there, y'all struggling. It's real hard for y'all. As they say, it's real hard for a pimp. It's real hard out here for y'all. And truth be told, it's not really a laughing matter. I'm trying to make light of the situation, but in reality, the situation is is, is dead serious. Because, like, I've, I've came across several videos, which I might uh, do a reaction video to, maybe even later on today or tomorrow. But I came across several videos of people just complaining. It was this one guy, he's talking about, like, it's people like right now they thinking about unloving themselves because it's so hard out here it's so much of a struggle that it'll be easier to just give up and just take yourself out rather than to just uh, keep struggling <laughs> and, and keep working hard with nothing to show for it and when I heard that I'm like damn that's crazy is that bad and I'm like yeah it is that bad but maybe I'm just a different type of breed because you know, I, I grew up with a found, uh, a Christian foundation, or I don't even like to say Christian. I would like to say I grew up with a, a godly foundation. I, 
I found God or God found me at a very, very young age. You know, I ain't no saint or nothing like that, so I ain't going to pretend to be one. But he found me at an age where when I'm really going through stuff and it gets real, real bad, I know I can call on him. I know that if I have faith and belief, he'll make everything better. But most people are not like me. Most people are not like that. Most people, uh, they need to see tangibles. And because most people don't, they give up. Oh, look at those tomatoes. People just growing tomatoes and then they're throwing uh, the plants out. But because they don't, people are not willing to give up. And it's not to say that I don't blame them because I really don't. I just wish that they can go about it a different way rather than giving up that hard. But I, I, I can relate. I can see where they're coming from. I can see how so many people can be giving up nowadays because it's just hard out here. And now you have the upcoming 2024 presidential election with Donald J. Trump and Kamala Harris. And you got so many people on the left uh, spewing this narrative about Project 2025 of Donald Trump, which he clearly stated several times that he has nothing to do with that. Uh, you got so many people, liberals, uh, just blindly voting for their own destruction, their own demise. And in doing so, they in, inadvertently um, voting and out on demise too, because people like us who don't really care for that, uh, if they get their way, then she's going to become our next president of the United States. And everything that we see now that's a struggle, that's bad, is going to be tenfold. And then we're really going to be seeing people unalive themselves. So I just think that uh, if y'all were smart, y'all would vote wisely, <laughs> choose differently, and um, really see what's happening in this country because slowly but surely it's going to become like some type of civil war sooner or later if people get to the boiling point we've already seen look at those tomatoes yeah that's beautiful but we've already seen uh what can happen when people you know uh feel like their voices are not being voices are not being heard with all the riots and everything that's happening and if people really start to starve and children can't eat, then the savages are really going to come out with people. So, be careful. But that's all I got for now, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below. Make sure I hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.